So what's up, everybody? Happy Tuesday. We are back here at Hempstead Lake, and we are hanging out on the new pier. Don't tell anyone I jumped the snow fence because it's stupid that they got it closed and it was open the other day. The sun is up. Beautiful morning here on the lake. It's a little chilly. I don't know. It's like 33 degrees. And uh, we are on day, uh, is this 204 now of the 365-day uh, journey? And this is my 30th day of 75 hard phase two. Phase two. So that is 30 days of no drinking. 30 days of a gallon of water a day. It's 30 gallons of water I've drank in the last month. More than that, but uh, minimum. Um, I spent, uh, let's see, I spent about 45 hours plus uh, exercising in the last month. Uh, I've read three books in the last month. And uh, what else have I done? I took a picture every day. And um, I don't know, what else do we do? Oh, stayed on a diet. We lost, I don't know, probably about 10 pounds in. And um, there we are. Yes, yeah, Benny. Good morning, bro. So we're over here at the lake. Uh, this new pier that they made is pretty cool. Pretty cool. Check it out. A little fishing pier here. You get to walk out onto the water. Look at the sky. Check out that sky today. You got to stop and look up. Stop. Get your head up. Chin up, head up. You can't be down when you're looking up. So, all right. So message of the day. Uh, last night. Uh, we did our yearly tradition of bringing Christmas trees to the homeless shelters over in Hempstead. There's a, a women's shelter and a men's shelter. Um, I do this with uh, the Lady Lords Youth Ministry. Uh, I don't know, it was probably almost 10 years ago. Uh, my friend Linda asked me if I could help uh, bring Christmas trees. I used to go just to the women's house, and then we added a men's house probably five years ago or something like that. And uh, she asked if I could... Uh, if the farm could donate Christmas trees, because the farm that I'm involved in sells Christmas trees, and if I could come and help set them up and help decorate them over at the shelters. And um, when she asked me 10 years ago, I didn't know what to expect. Um, you think in shelters, you think in like New York City streets, homeless people. Um, and it's kind of was a thought in my head, right? We all stereotype it. Uh, you know, the crazy people on the corner in the city. And when I got there... Um, the reality of it is, is that it's normal people like you and me that have had uh, trauma in their lives and had stuff go on in their lives. Uh, it is people that um, that have uh, gone through divorce and uh, all and some older people there that can't support themselves on Social Security. You can't you can't rent an apartment and eat uh, in New York area on Social Security. Um, it was uh, people that have gotten out of jail. For petty crimes um, that basically come out of jail with nothing, have nowhere to go. Um, you wonder why the crime rates are so high when, when people get out of jail and they, uh, they have no place to go. Um, you got people with illnesses, um, you got people with drug and alcohol problems. And there she is, Tarena, love you girl, uh, doing God's work. So last night we were at the shelter and we brought the Christmas trees and it's just a really humbling experience. Um, my friend Terena that's on here watching now, uh, she came up with this vision over 30 years ago and, uh, she's been, uh, helping, uh, helping people out for a lot of years now. And, uh, it's amazing. It's amazing. Um, we need to stop and we need to think about how blessed we are. Um, our worst day is someone's best day. Um, every day when you're having a struggle, when something's going wrong with your life, when, uh, an opportunity passed, a relationship closed, um, something's not going your way, just stop and realize how blessed you are. There's people that would kill to have just a piece of what you have. Um, go stop by a shelter, go stop by a soup kitchen, um, give back a little bit. Um, we're blessed in many ways and uh, we need to give back. We need to help those around us. Um, you know, um, we just share the love. Uh, givers get. Um, the biggest gift, the biggest reward you can get in life is by giving and seeing people smile. Um, we got to stop being so selfish in this world. We got to stop thinking about ourselves so much. And we got to think about how can we help others around us. When God blesses us in so many ways, 
and we're, we're not grateful for all the blessings in our lives. Um, we really need to realize that. We really need to realize the opportunities that we have. We really need to realize it's just where we are really blessed. And there's so many people that are struggling, so many people that would kill to be in our situation, and we're not grateful for where we are. So just something for you guys to think about. Um, this holiday season, any time of the year, <clears throat> go donate some time. Go donate some money. Go donate some food. Um, we help the Lady Lord's Food Pantry a lot. Um, the scavenger hunt every year. Uh, we bring a couple thousand pounds of food over to the uh, food pantry because um, I know that there's people that are starving, people that are hungry. And you know what? We throw out food because, you know, my kids are just, I got six kids and they eat half of something and throw it away. And there's people that literally would kill for the scraps that uh, that we throw away. So just just keep that present in your mind. And just realize how blessed you are. And just go out of your way to help people. Go out of your way to give back. Um, there's no greater gift than the feeling you get when you give back. So, all right. So there's your message of the day. Don't think of yourself. Think of others around you. All right. So let's jump on prayers. You got a beautiful sunrise over here. Hempstead Lake State Park. Absolutely beautiful spot. All right. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Dear God, Help us to remember all those that are less fortunate in our lives and help us to realize how blessed we are. Help us to keep spreading the love whenever we can. Um, help us to stop and realize uh, where we are in life and how blessed we are to be here. Uh, help us to be grateful and help us to continue to look for opportunities to give and help those around us. Uh, amen. So, all right. Hempstead Lake State Park, beautiful morning. And uh, hope you guys are all having a great week. Christmas is coming up this week. Um, take some time. Spend it with your families. Uh, enjoy your life. Be grateful. And find opportunities to give back. Um, you'll feel really good about it. That's what, the, that's what God put us here to, for, to help people around us. We're not here to help ourselves. We're here to help those around us. So get out there and help someone. All right. So uh, what else we got going on? Went over this morning, put the garbage out at the uh, house that I'm selling. They did a big clean up and left it all in the backyard. So grateful to the Malvern DPW. Uh, they're going to come by and pick up the garbage I put out there on garbage day. And um, that, uh, we got some pictures taken for that. We'll get that up. I got a little video of anyone looking for that four bedroom, two bath colonial. 779, 76 by 100 lot. And what else we got? We got some showings to do. Uh, I'm looking for some co ops for some people. And uh, I'm actually looking for a month to month rental for some people. Um, Lots of stuff going on, but all in all, life is good. Um, living a dream here. Day 204 of 365, riding this bike 10 miles a day. Last day of the 30-day, phase two of 75 hard. And uh, looking forward to not having to do the second workout because that workout's been killing me late at night. Cause I've been busy lately, and that workout's been happening way too late. So, all right, everyone, God bless. Uh, be grateful. Remember how blessed you are. Go out of your way to help those around you. Fire starts fire. Put your head on a pillow every night knowing you made the world a better place. Go do something great for the world. God will thank you for it. Have a great day, everyone.